Hi there, Roberto here with Top One Pros Drywall back again with another video. This video, just want to do um, a quick overview of the difference between a butt joint and a seam. So the seam is where the top and the bottom of the drywall meet with one another. The butt joint is where the ends of the drywall meet one another. And so I'll show you um, exactly what I'm talking about in this video. So, um, this is a butt joint. This is where the two ends of the drywall um, are meeting. And then this right here is the seam. This is where the, the bottom and the top of the drywall um, meet together. And there is a difference, okay? Um, when they manufacture these, they manufacture them to where um, the top and the bottom of the drywall has um, what I call a recessed area. It's like a, a two inch or two and a half inch um, recessed uh, cave in the top and the bottom of the piece of drywall. Um, and so some people call it the roll, the edge. Some people call it the seam. Some other people call it something else. But nevertheless, it's where the paper is rolled around um, the drywall. And so that's how it's manufactured on both ends. And then obviously when it's manufactured, they have to, they have to cut the drywall. So there's no um, recessed um, part on the ends of the drywall. So it's the exact width of the rest of the drywall. Why does that matter? Why does that make a difference? Well, because when you are doing uh, these walls and you're taping it in particular, when you're taping it in particular, um, you don't want anything to be on top of the drywall. You don't want any of these screws sticking out. You don't want no busted papers that are sticking out. Um, you know, you don't want anything on top of the drywall. You want a smooth surface. And so the idea behind this, um, this uh, seam is so that when the two pieces of drywall meet, when the two pieces of drywall meet, the tape, when you bend it in there, it actually falls um, inside the actual surface or the actual drywall. It's actually inside of it. It's not on top. The butt joint, when you tape, the, uh, the tape, you, know, you have to make sure that there's no loose paper. Everything is uh, nice and even. And when you put the tape on there, effectively, the mud and the tape is on top of, not inside, but on top of the drywall. And so that's why it's important uh, to differentiate the two. Uh, so typically, when we're taping and mudding the seams, you don't have to go too wide um, when you're mudding the seam. 10 inches, 12 inches is uh, probably good enough to cover the embedded tape and, you know, make it nice and smooth. The butt joint, you typically, something's got to happen because there's effectively something sitting on top of the wall. And so you have to create some sort of... Uh, uh, optical illusion and the way you do it is by applying compounds as wide as possible so we usually do um, we usually do like 32 inches wide or 36 inches wide that's about uh, 16 inches um, on both sides or even 18 inches on both sides and that will help um, uh, help prevent from leaving a hump on the drywall. Because if you put the tape on here and you just put a little bit of compound on both sides, when you shine the light, uh, you're gonna see a little uh, hump right there. But the farther you go, the better, right? The farther you go from the tape, the, the more you'll hide the tape. That's why a lot of people like, like um, uh, level five finishes, because it actually, after you tape and mud, you uh, add, uh, you add compounds to the drywall to match or to make up for the tape 
beam on top of the drywall. So you do a level five finish. But we don't do level five finishes too much ar around here. Um, but, you know, going um, 32 or 36 inches is, um, is the ideal uh, way to spread your mud. If you want to go a little farther, 40 inches, whatever, that's fine. However you do it. But the whole idea is you have to create some sort of illusion to to uh, mask uh, the this uh, tape from being in view. And the way you do it is by um, spreading your compound on both sides of the tape as far as you can and as smooth as you can. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, if you like this video, be sure to give us a like, a share, and subscribe so the next time we upload, you'll get notified. Peace. I keep on running back to you